Good evening, spooky HQTs. It's Wednesday, and that means it's time for another HQ Trivia Boovie Night. <laughs> I'm your host turned witch, Anna Roisman, and hopefully my spells will bring you a win for your silver scream knowledge. Oh, I'm full of puns tonight. Tonight, I am flying into your device to test your cinematic skills and reward those of you who burned the world's greatest movies into your internal memory. But tonight, there may be some will-o'-the-wisps in our winnowing of the wits. Ooh, say that five times in a row. It's a little early to test you on straight-up horror. Okay, don't worry, it's coming. So tonight's topic is hollow scenes. All the Halloween moments in non-horror movies that deserve the love. So we are aiming a spotlight on them and seeing how well you remember. My witch sleeves solve all 12 tricks and you'll claim your share of the $5,000 treat. Then buy all the candy or more. $5,000 will get you so much candy. And if you want more, if you want a little more excitement, you, you can grab that VIP ticket and jump into the smaller game playing for bigger money tonight. And tonight's VIP pot is $1,500, which divides up very, very nice when you have a small pool of VIPs like we do tonight. The VIP game is on with at least 125 VIPs and up to 150. So grab one before they disappear into the night. That is it. All week, we've been spotlighting wonderful charities in the state of Pennsylvania. Hey, my hometown. And tonight, we've got another great one. Project Home, breaking the cycle of homelessness and poverty in and around Philadelphia. Since 1989, Project Home's mission has been to empower adults, children, and families to break the cycle of homelessness and poverty, to alleviate the underlying causes of poverty, and to enable everyone to attain their fullest potential. They've been a leader in providing comprehensive and effective services to those who experience chronic homelessness and developed nationally recognized programs proving homelessness can be solved. So HQ tonight is donating five cents for every one of you playing in the game. And look at what we have. We have a video from famous author Elizabeth Gilbert. She wrote Eat, Pray, Love. Check this out. Hi everybody, this is Elizabeth Gilbert. I'm the author of Eat, Pray, Love and Big Magic and City of Girls and lots of other books. I'm just chiming in to share my love and devotion to Project Home. I have such rich admiration for this organization, for the beautiful people who it serves, for the beautiful people who serve the beautiful people who it serves. I'm just so grateful that I'm able, with the help of Project Home, to be part of this glorious family and I wish everybody a wonderful, wonderful night. Thank you, bye. That was so great. Thank you so much to Elizabeth Gilbert and you can learn all about their great work at projecthome.org. And of course, any donations make it all possible. Remember projecthome.org. But before we get started, I wanna remind you that tomorrow night, HQ is thrilled to be debuting a brand new game, Hall of Trivia in partnership with Hall of Fantasy League Hall of Fame report and entertainment. Ooh, it's very good. It's coming. It's happening tomorrow night. If you love football, and especially if you love fantasy football, this is the new game for you with gridiron fun and money to be won. That is an hour earlier at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, tomorrow night right here on this very app. So check it out. Don't forget. And that's it for the previews. Let's lower our voices to a whisper and into the woods we go with question number one. Are you ready for it? Oh, Q1. Here we go. Which of these films is set during Halloween festivities? Ernest Scared Stupid, Gandhi, or Lord of the Rings Return of the King? Now, that would be a great way to get past the Black Gate into Mordor, right? Ring the bell with a Spider-Man costume on and a, a plastic pumpkin. But there's Halloween thrills in Ernest Scared Stupid. That is the answer. 56,175. You weren't scared stupid on that question at all. You got it right. You get to move on. Did you know Ernest was in seven movies, not counting home video? That's crazy. I want to know what scares you stupid. I, let me know. What scares you stupid in the chat? It's just a funny phrase for me. But right now, you can type it in the chat. We're going to move on to Q2. Here we go. 
People are saying eggs. Eggs scare, eggs scare me, honestly. Salmonella, I'd be, <gasps> make sure you cook your eggs or they are the scariest thing in the world. All right, here we go with Q2. In Ed Wood, who succeeded at frightening the brave trick-or-treater? Bella, Ed, or Tor? The most remarkable thing in this scene is Bella Lugosi, dressed as Dracula, failing to scare a small child. It's to Ed's credit that he managed to pull off this save. Check this out. How about these? Yeah, I get it. The teeth, they're scary. Who got it right? Or who was freaked out by the teeth? Ooh, this was a tough one. 29,764 on Q2. I hope all 19,000 of you use an extra life there because we've got a lot of more spooky questions for you coming your way. And honestly, that scared me too. I get it. If I saw Johnny Depp take out his teeth, I'd probably scream and run away. <laughs> I probably wouldn't tap the right answer. But right now, we are moving on to Q3. What is Daniel's Halloween costume in The Karate Kid? A skeleton, a mop, a shower. This was a very, very original choice, okay? I'm definitely curious who in the costume department of the Karate Kid thought of this one, right? After all, after all his wax on and off, Daniel was a shower. Check it out, he was a shower. <laughs> Look at him. I wanna be a shower, that's such a good costume. <laughs> Could you imagine? That would blow this, this witch's hat out of the water. 26,975. You're clean. You got out of the shower. You're clean to go on those next few questions. Do you know Johnny, is, Johnny and his henchmen were a whole skeleton crew? I don't know. The shower thing, it's winning me over tonight. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stay in the shower on Halloween. <laughs> Maybe you are too. Maybe you're not going out. Q4. What does E.T. try to do on Halloween? Heal a wound, run from a kid, steal chocolate. Oh, no. That's my E.T. impression. Shortly before hitting the street with Elliot and Michael, E.T. misunderstood a piece of costuming and he tried to help out. It's so sweet. Look at this. Ouch. Ouch. It's a fake Ouch. knife. No! It was a costume. He didn't know. He's being a good friend. Who got heal a wound? 17,111. Congratulations. That's a good movie. E.T. is a great movie. It's kind of funny though, right? He thinks that's real. He thinks there's a real ax in his head. It's just a costume, E.T. Moving on to Q5. In Mean Girls, Janice and Damien scream at Katie's costume while watching a film from what series? Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Friday the 13th, or Frankenstein? A lot of films have to pick old movies to license them for free, while others just hit up their own studio. But Katie's friends watch Friday the 13th part two but they listen to part seven. So Friday the 13th is the answer. Who was lucky? 12,367. You remember that part? She walks in and you know, they get really scared. They throw their popcorn. They must be Jason super fans if they're watching one, listening to another. I don't know. That could be our Halloween plan, right? We could sit at home, watch Friday the 13th. Good movie. All right, Q6. Ooh, which of the Batman films is clearly set in late October? Batman from 1989, Batman Returns, or Batman Forever? All three of these films are set at a festive time. Whether it's Gotham's Bicentennial in the classic original, Christmas Time in the 1992 sequel, or Halloween in Batman Forever. Who got forever? Batman Forever, ooh, that was almost savage. 9,642, this is not an easy game, right? It's spooking a lot of people. Forever is the answer. You know, the trick-or-treating really gives it away. I mean, I gotta ask this question because we were talking about this earlier. Who is your favorite Batman? Let me know in the chat. I'm going with Christian Bale. I'm picking Christian Bale. I know he's not Batman Forever, but he's a good Batman. So you gotta let me know in the chat. Who's your favorite Batman? Who do you want? Who are you gonna watch? Ooh, Val Kilmer, people are picking Kilmer. Okay, I see you out there. I also see you Christian Bale fans and you know, thanks for, thanks for sticking me in. Wow, we got, we got all of them. We got Ben Affleck, we got, everyone's coming in. 
I love it. All right, back to our own Batman, back to our spotlight. Here we go. Q7, who is not seen screaming during Halloween dinner in the first Harry Potter film? Malfoy, Hermione, or Neville? If you don't remember Halloween in film one, it's when there was a troll in the dungeon, right? Quirrell passes out, everyone freaks out. That is everyone all except Hermione. Hmm, she didn't freak out. Do you remember? Put her all in the dungeon! She was in danger, but she didn't freak out in that moment. Who guessed Hermione? Who got it right? 5,350 I know, HQDs, you love Harry Potter films, so I'm glad a lot of you got that right, although it was almost split. And you know what? She was in danger, but Malfoy was screaming at the sheer idea of trolls, not Hermione, because women are so brave. That's what she taught us in that. <laughs> Here we go with Q8. Q8. Do I look sus in this hat? <laughs> what are you talking about my hat in the chat? Should I take off? Do you like the hat in the chat? Should I take off the hat? Is the chat not liking the hat? I see you, I see all these. I like the hat, come on. I'm a witch tonight and I can pick the winners. Here we go with Q8. <laughs> We're almost there. In Big Daddy, what does Julian not get while trick or treating? CDs, matches, a watch. When a homeowner drags his feet answering the door, Adam Sandler charges in and demands an outlay of treats. Any treats, right? And it, pla it plays out like this. Yeah, CDs. You like that? Okay, yeah, that's, that's good. Trick or treat. There we go. You saw it. Zero matches were changed hands in that clip. Right? He got everything else. Honestly, would love to get a watch for Halloween. I might go trick-or-treating if I'm getting a watch. 5,036. You got it right. Basically, that, that, ta that taught us that everybody have candy on hand this year. You know, either throw it into the yard, chuck it into the yard, or, you know, get like a shoot, throw candy down the chute. Safe trick-or-treating this year. But you gotta give candy. Q9. In the 60s version of To Kill a Mockingbird, what is Scout's Halloween costume? U.S. State, meet Ghost. It's a lumpy, amateurish costume, but it has its name helpfully printed on it. Well, whatever the idea was, Scout appeared as a big, oversized ham. She's meat! Look at her! Can you imagine asking your mom, I want to be a big ham for Halloween this year. 4,268! You're taking home the bacon! Almost. You're almost there. I wonder if Lady Gaga was inspired by that meat costume, you know? The chat loves the hat. Thank you so much. <laughs> I feel like you guys are loving the hat. I'm gonna wear it every week now, that's it. I've turned into a witch and there's no turning back. Halloween forever. It's because of the sleeves. All right, we have <laughs> three more questions. Here we go, Q10. What best picture Oscar winner has a brief Halloween scene? Annie Hall, Ordinary People, Terms of Endearment. It didn't dominate the plot, okay? I don't think any best picture has ever mainly been about Halloween, but some ragamuffins did trick or treat Mary Tyler Moore in Ordinary People. Who got Ordinary People on Q10? Ooh, 2,521 of you. Not so ordinary, you're very special. There was enough tragedy in that movie without dragging monsters into it, you know? You don't want that. All right, it's the penultimate question. It is time for Q11 in Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Where was Greg specifically forbidden to trick or treat? Grandma's house, the north side, Locust Street. Mom wants Greg and Rally to stay in the neighborhood, but everyone knows the good candy comes from the rich people up on the north side. The north side, it's the answer. For Q11, 1,576. Everything's been like almost savage, but we haven't we gotten to savage yet. On Q11, you got it, but you know what? I gotta say, the north side sounds fun. You're only young ones. So the north they went to their misfortune. It happened, it did. All right, are you ready for the final question? Oh my goodness, we're there. It's time for Q12 for all the money, all the spells. Here we go. 
this is it. This is your final one of the night. The last game before it gets spookier, even spookier for Halloween. Q12. What is not mentioned as part of the Halloween kids show in Kramer vs. Kramer? Ghostly ghouls, uh, ghostly ghosts, wicked witches, or vicious vampires? This show had just about every kind of monster and ample alliterations as well. Too bad for horror buffs who only saw the intro, but we do hear about the ghosts and witches. It is vicious vampires that missed the boat. Vicious vampires. Wow. Oh my gosh. That was so savage on the final question in tonight's game. But I got to give it up for 298 of you. Oh my goodness. It was savage. But guess what? You just won HQ trivia. Movie night. <laughs> it's movie night. It's scary movie night. Woo. You did it. Talk about trick or treat. That was a trick at the end. Oh my gosh. Oh. You made it so far. Let's see some of our winners. Oh, people are taking home $16.78. That's a beautiful amount tonight to take home. You know how much candy you can buy with that? Big congratulations to Nathaniel D, Gray, Gary Hurley, Tom, Tom at Tassic, Amy T379. We've got Airbrush, I think. <laughs> Evan Tucker, Brill PZ, JVR3. Oh, Dr. Strange. Oh, Real Mike. Real Mike with real cash, baby. Yeah, Rug, Rug Radic. I don't know. I got it. Yeah, I said it all. Congratulations to everyone. I hope our tricky questions came off as a treat. But everyone who played tonight, you made it very special. And if you weren't scared out of your wits, oh, just wait until next week when the real scary questions come to life. Matt Richards will be here tomorrow night with regular HQ Trivia. And remember, tomorrow night is the premiere of Hall of Trivia, a great new game for all lovers of football and fantasy football. It is one hour before the main game tomorrow night. Be here. Don't miss it, babe. Don't. Oh, there she is. Hall of Trivia. Look at those beautiful lights. It's going to be a very exciting night right here at 8 o'clock. Make sure you tune in. Oh, this has been so much fun. Don't forget about the charity again. The charity is Project Home, getting so many Philadelphians under dry roofs where they belong. Check them out at projecthome.org. And if you can give a little, it'll be greatly appreciated. I love it. I'm from Philly. I love it. I'm Anna Roisman. I'm from Philly. And I put a spell on you. So now my hat's done. You're mine. Thank you so much for coming out. And here's a tip for this Halloween season. The way to catch the killer is never splitting up. See you next week if you dare. Good night.